See, Jancy, we're back at it again. And listen, this episode right here is going to be something special. We're going to be taking you to one of Haiti's largest BPOs. So listen, before we even get started, hit that like button, comment, and be ready to share this video after the fact. Man, we are about showing you what's possible in Haiti when you decide not to accept what you've been told. So listen, we have a, an incredible, incredible entrepreneur and visionary who demonstrates that fact. Listen, we're, gonna, we're not gonna talk too much. We're gonna jump right into the conversation. Here he is, the man, the visionary. Let's go. And we have with us right now, Ken's Fit Nord. I'm really happy to be at this property, at this facility, because you're one of, the, one of the folks who, not only are you a serial entrepreneur, I mean, you've been doing it for ages, but also the amount of folks and lives you're impacting. I wish I, wish I could interview someone like you every week, because that would make a CGNT and the CGNT audience very, very happy, but nonetheless, we got you. <laughs> but nonetheless, we have you. We're gonna take full advantage. And the goal today is to see your facility, see your VPO, and really get a better understanding of what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. But, folks, but, tell, but tell them about yourself. Tell them, tell them who you are in brief. Uh, well, that's the hot thing. Yeah, that's our thing. Hot thing. Hot I know. to talk about myself. Well, my name is Drakeen Fednard, and I am the um, director of the, the, the CDC, the City Multidigital Center. We are a BPO center that provides outsourcing support for companies all over the world. And we process work in all languages, French, English, Portuguese, Spanish. Um, That's the BPO. On top of that, you have a school, so we have, facility yeah, as well. Exactly. The BPO is part of a, of a compound that includes a technical school that provides education for um, anybody who wants to come and learn trades. Because I, 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 I am also a tradesman. I am a mechanic. As well, so I trade is very important. So we provide trades, mechanic, electricity, plumbing. And that's how the facility uh, started. If I remember right, because we had a facility next, uh, uh, next mechanic door, next yes. door. Then we brought this land here. Yeah. So this this came in the fact that we needed to find qualified employees to work for us. So we started training our own staff, mm -hmm. and our clients were coming to us mm -hmm. asking us to do the same thing for them. We said, okay, let's formalize it into an institution. So that's how the people got started. So when Sidemo got started, because we were training to the need of the employer, then our you know, students were placed in the job even before they could finish. So our, you know, so then the word get out there, if you come to Sidemo, you get a job. And an education. So then we started with 50, so then within three years, our student body went from 50 to 1,000. Obviously, there was not enough jobs to put everybody. So our job placement went from 100 to 75 to yeah. 50. So when we get to work 30 percent, we started to look at how then do we create it Higher. ourselves. Yeah, and that's what the BPO. And that's how, like you know, that led us to really creating the BPO. In addition, you've had other things going on. You have uh, textiles as well. Yes, so, other things. so basically, other things like you know, we, we didn't the compound. So we we try to we try to self sustaining. You know, so so this is a compound that I I call all inclusive and all sustaining. Mm -hmm. You know, compound. So we have our own um, clothing. Um, you know, shop where we do uh, we do lab coat for our students. We do uniforms for our students. Um, I do my suits there as well. Uh, we are our own um, print shop, so we print our own kind of like you know um, documents. Um, so we 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 we, we try to remain self you know, sustaining. So we are our own power generation. So we have half a megawatt installed power. Um, you know, here we have like you know the the water source as well, our own water source. So pretty much we have the basic infrastructure we build to sustain what we are doing in Haiti. As you know, this is a country that is still developing and we still have a long way to go. And for us to be able to guarantee quality service to our clients, we had to go the extra miles to really make sure that not only we have the facility, but we have everything that comes with it. We're going to show that, right? But yes. you have, so not only the power, we know you need power here, but you have clinics here, you have uh, dormitories, I mean, you have laundry mat. Laundry mat. We have beauty salons for the girls, like when they come to beautify and everything. So we, 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 we had actually at many, many occasions, so we have our staff that remain from one week to, to, to four months. So you have to have everything for them to be able to have a normal life. We have chapels for them to pray. We yeah. have um, even a psychologist on staff to help with mental issues yeah. if need be. So we took a very holistic approach to work 
and human development. So let's let's do this. Let's go and check out the facility. Sounds yeah. good? Oh, definitely. Right. Cool. Welcome, and I'm glad you're here. So we're in the space, we're, we're in the, the, the war room, perhaps, <laughs> war center, perhaps, in terms of where, where the action happens. Yeah. Uh, so, so what are we looking at? What's going on? So right now we are at the uh, center where we do a lot of um, back office processing right. work for um, companies in the US and UK and in Canada. So pretty much we specialize in uh, providing back office support mm -hmm. for any company that are looking to really um, lower the uh, overhead cost and also have very really quality work process uh, for them. So and that's that's where we are right now and that's what we provide. So that's we are it. in one of the, the, the first floor of uh, multiple floors. Yeah, we have multiple <laughs> floors. So we are on the, the floor and here we have uh, mainly two teams. So the way we the work is being you know um, administered is that we administer the teams. We have each team has a team leader, they have a supervisor, or one or two supervisors, depending on the size of the team. And then we specialize. Like right now, we are with the non appliance team. So we have, you know, we group all the customers that are, you know, that we processing work for, that we process work for, that are not non appliance. Mm -hmm. So companies like Bosch and, and different companies like that. And then we have the appliance team, which is next door, where we process, like, you know, work for Whirlpool, GE, and all those other brands. That right. So it's a major brand. You're talking about GE and Whirlpool, that's great. Yeah, yeah. We, we certainly like, you know, um, work with uh, a lot of well known brands, um, you know, national, international yeah. brands, and we certainly provide a lot of support. And I think, like, you know, that shows that, you know, Haiti can be as competitive as any other mm -hmm. place, you know, because we have the talent, we have the infrastructure, mm -hmm. and, um, and we create a system that can sustain despite you know fluctuation yeah. with um, social issues yeah, yeah. you know and things like that yeah. so i think it's really like you know a, 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 a good proof of concept yeah. that you know that shows what haiti can do yeah, yeah. Um, if more people did it yeah yeah so now how many i see a lot of warm bodies here how many folks you have working here um, so we have about like 132 um, people. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear that. 132 people. Yes, wow. 132 wow. people. Um, but over the years, I know we have uh, we have created over 200 jobs directly into that work. Now, these so, are uh, you know jobs that are for staff that are support working. staff. Yeah. yeah. So we support staff are not part of it. So if you think of just having the facility. Keep that facility up and running. Yeah. You need like an electrician. You need like you know uh, IT. You know, IT. You need you know cooks. You need yeah. cleaners. You put all of that. Mm -hmm. So if you were to do all of this, you are looking at like you know easily like you know, three hundred jobs. Uh, but specifically for the for the BPU mm -hmm. processing work, so we have over one hundred and thirty people. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Right? But yeah, that we we took security very seriously and both on the physical level also on the data level so here we have our like you know server rooms that is very secure so basically like you know we provide like you know uh, firewall you know security and networking capability to really make sure like you know the client is really secure in everything that we do so we have the latest software the latest uh, antivirus um, the latest like you know firewall technologies installed in here to make sure that like you know the clients um, the, the client's data is very secure, you know, so there's no, no risk of data breaching. And, and, and on a physical level, as well as you will see throughout the facility, and we have cameras installed every single um, uh, part of the facility. is a way to make sure, like, you know, we are in control and we can see what's happening um, at the facility at any point of time. And our clients, they also have access to those, uh, to, to, to the security, uh, protocol that we also apply here so the client can easily log in and see the staff working and see what's happening uh, at the facility. Hi my name is Ezekiel Exume and I'm the manager here at this company and uh, I've been working here since 2013 February 2013 and uh, what well, uh, I've experienced 
a lot of fun here with this company and what is very special here is that uh, we go together so everybody here uh, has something to learn to someone else so that's make us unique right now we are in um, section where we do data entry um, believe it or not we do a lot of data entry for clients um, every year we have we enter that list that half a million of pages half a million pages yeah um, pages like you know for different clients mm -hmm. the clientele um, sometimes we have over like you know, 20 people just doing data entry mm -hmm. right now like you know volumes are a bit low mm -hmm. so you see probably like you know good maybe 8 people mm -hmm. doing data entry but that's one of the, of the other services that we provide mm -hmm. is like you know very clean data entry for companies that need that kind of services. Let me make sure we understand everything about it. So data entry is this section. What we were just for, you mentioned G and Whirlpool. What, what type of... So the kind of work that we do, we do what we call um, uh, verification for that. Mm -hmm. So if you think of it like, you know, we are the police of incentives. Mm -hmm. So um, think of, you know, when you go, for instance, to so home people, you go buy a particular brand. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes there is a, a rebate that is mm -hmm. offered. They say, hey, if you buy that particular brand, you know, send in your information and your receipt, then, then you can get maybe $100 or $200, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know um, rebate in the mail. But in that particular industry, there's a lot of corruption that's happening. Mm -hmm. People that sometimes like you know they tweak their receipts to mm -hmm. meet the, the requirements. Sometimes they falsify, yeah. you know, uh, in the information so that they can receive over and over the rebates. Mm -hmm. Companies lost a lot of money doing that, and um, so one of the work that we provide is really like you know working with these companies to be able to accurately verify that like you know the person who purchased that particular product is entitled to receive the rebate that was published. So that's the reason why you see everybody has two screens. So you have like you know the information the clients provide and the information that the, the, the company provided and Compare. we have to do the course verification to ensure that. So we are the police of uh, incentives. That's really yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's on top of that we also do other things yeah. so, because we, we provide a lot of services for services in that world. Like data entry is one of them, we do data mining, we do like, you know, um, you know, ima image tagging, um, you name it. Like AI, AI machine learning? It, exactly. We do a lot of different things. Okay. You know? So we do um, a lot of like, you know, also helping companies do investigations. So we do just like, you know. Like audits. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. great. Really good stuff. Yeah. All right. So here we are on the second floor here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Second floor. So we're on the second floor and here we, we put this work for pharma. Like we have um, clients that are in the former world, mm -hmm. health, and as well as like you know the tires. Many people are not like in you know, certain countries you are mandated to really change tires. Mm -hmm. So we do have a lot of clients that are like you know we process one for you know for that where we have to actually do. Um, there's a lot of promotion going on with tires. Rebates. And rebates and then we have a huge team. Yeah. Sometimes that's kind of like you know in the neighborhood of 20 people working just processing like you yeah. know um, verifying you know tire you know tire claims. Okay, okay. So we have like you know the former team, um, and in the former team we have like you know different you know companies. We keep them separate, even if it's like former as a whole kind of group, but we have to keep each client separate to make sure there's no you know for like you know data yeah. breaching and exactly, exactly. Yeah, so um, so that's that's. That's what this thing is, and this is, you know, um, second level. What I love um, about it is just I've seen so many young professionals at yes. work. It's so hard to find young professionals at right? you know, yeah. work, right? So, so many yeah, we, we suddenly have a very particular culture yeah. where we make sure that, like, you know, we we, we make the, the rules clear, yeah. and we make the expectation clear, and then we provide a platform for both. Here we have our quality, quality, quality control um, team. So we have about 10 people doing quality control and their job is to audit 10% of the work that um, the other staff have done. Now, think about it. We do about 30 million claims per year. So we verify 30 million claims per year on behalf of our clients and 10% of that is being audited right here to make sure that like, you know, we are performing at a 99.6% accuracy level. So. It's really, you know, making sure that the clients really get what they paid for in terms of really making sure that they don't lose any money in terms of like fraudulent transactions. 
So that's what this team does and, and we've been doing this for now four years. So we had that team established four years ago and we've been going strong. ourselves in one of the rooms here. Don't, don't mind the, the, the shades that help with the AC and the, the, the cost, right? So behind us we have students uh, at work. Now are these students, are these folks who are in the community hired or are they, are they, are they come through the system? So the school? they are coming through the school system, okay. the technical school that we run and uh, oftentimes the way that we hire is that we hire internally. Uh, right? We can actually us our own you know, um, so then how can we ask somebody to hire them? So yeah. we tend to hire our own people. Um, they go to the technical school. Um, once they graduate, then we put them to a specific training for the work that we do, and uh, that's what's happening right now. Right. So we have like, you know, people that are being trained specifically to do the PBO right. work. That's the work that, that we're going to be showing you later. And even in your school, we have like database, the, the school yeah, web so, design. So, yeah, so we have, uh, within the technical trade yeah. track, um, so we have computer trade, uh, we do the computer yeah. trade, then we have people who come for database management, for IT, for computer repair, for design, and now we also want to track specifically for people who want to do BPO work. So that's a, that's a nascent um, industry in IT, we're not that big yet, but to go that industry, we need also like a qualified um, you know, people to do that work, and we are starting providing specific training for people who want to go into the field. That's great. That what it means is it means that you you have folks who uh, not just not a few train like a lot of places in America is a few training and then you put them on the phone. These folks have been training for years. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Getting ready for a review. Yeah, okay. so basically like, you know the training that we provide, first of all you have to graduate from the school right. and then we have program that, that goes for ten months to three years. Yeah. Depending on the track and depending on what you want to do. So once you graduate and you pass your exam, you have to pass both your school exam and your state exam. Yeah. So once you pass that, that you know, we can invite you to a competitive like, you know, process where we, you know, you interview, we test you, and then once you pass those steps, then we put you to a specific training where they will train you specifically to do BBO work, and then we hire you directly to our um, BBO center mm -hmm. and provide them with the opportunities to win the SKP work. That's awesome. Yeah. Now we're standing in the clinic. I, I was feeling a little parched in the throat, and, and uh, the kids like, we got, we got, we got somebody to take care of. We got a nurse here. We're all set. But what's the story here? This is brand. This is more that's new, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is pretty much that we started the clinic in house clinic, right? You know, um, during COVID. Okay. Because what happened during COVID that we had to have our staff stay in campus. Right. And because, like, you know, we we, were, we wanted to limit mm -hmm. the the. The common go of going outside yeah. if somebody, you know, had like you know feeling sick. Yeah. So we had to actually provide also like you know healthcare services in house okay. in case some you know uh, somebody were to right. feel sick. So yeah, we yeah. started this um, with COVID. So we had like you know the nurses, we had like doctors on call. Yeah. Uh, we had to make sure that we have at least like basic equipment. So we have a ventilator, we have like you know IV, we got you know you know oxygen in case like you know one of our staff would need assistance. Doing like you know COVID because doing COVID like you know um, the hospital were even hesitant yeah, you know, accept. to accept people and then going there also like you know coming back to so set a risk yeah. for the remaining staff mm -hmm. so we had to really make sure like you know we are all self sustaining in terms of healthcare services that we would provide to our staff. And on top of it, don't, mention, don't forget that you told me everyone here, every single employee here has health insurance. Health insurance, yes, that's, that's and, awesome. And, and private health and, insurance. And this is something that we pride ourselves. Yeah. Um, too, because we, you know, it's not something that's very common in Haiti, and we try to provide the best that we can. The right. same health insurance that I have that I mm -hmm. use for myself yeah. here in Haiti, that's what all my staff has. And but on top of that, like you know, we still have the clinic in case they somebody just need, like yeah. you know, for a quick checkup, and if you don't want to go to the hospital, so then we can come in, and then we have staff that can take care of that. Like you see, I was just like you know, getting my blood pressure checked, yeah, yeah, you know, just to keep that you yeah. know, check, yeah. <laughs>
right here are the buses. I mean, these folks, this facility has even buses that go pick up the employees. You have one bus, you have a bigger bus right here. Again, you know, in Haiti, when it comes to doing business and doing business like this, you have to have all your essentials, you know, on, you know, on, on deck, on hand, right? And, and if there's things happening on the streets, and tap taps aren't functioning, you know, uh, motos aren't running. You gotta be able to be able to get grab your employees and this, this is part of that package that you have to have. And of course, when you have so many employees, so many staff, when you have an operation like this, it's so important to have food on deck and trust me, they got it on spades. They have this really cool combo where they have a eggs and the bread right on top. Of course, they have a whole selection for their folks. They got sandwiches, pates. I'm telling you, man, listen, I, I, I said it once, I'm saying it again, they need to hire me. You hear me? Made our way to the school. As you mentioned, you have a school here on campus, and yeah. you have from 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 very young, from the, what, kinder, what, what from kindergarten all the way till when kindergarten, they graduate. Yes. And this is one of the one of the many <laughs> sections of the school, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So right now we are at the where we have the high high school and elementary. Yeah, and the whole idea was like you know when we started the technical school, so we would not close our doors so anybody wanted wanted to come and learn. So. Um, People were coming in, and the, what we realized was that people were not did not have the foundation needed to really become a good technician. So if you become in a mechanic, if you want to become a mechanic, you have, there's certain basics that you have to understand. You know, if you are, if you become, you want to become an electrician, a computer trade. You know, there's certain basic you know knowledge that you have to have in terms of basic sciences. And a lot of people were coming in, they did not have that level, and we felt the need to actually like you know one step even further to provide high school education so and the same thing happened when we started the high school we realizing like the people who were coming to the high school if you didn't have a good elementary yeah you were struggling in high struggling. school so then we started the elementary mm -hmm. and same thing happened the kindergarten <laughs> now we provide from kindergarten all the way to trade yeah. and then hopefully like you know then capture those and then place them into paying jobs so that's, that's kind right. of like you know really Kind of like you know going really deep in terms of like you know the the education aspect of things so because you're a man of my own heart you see a problem you, you just execute you execute the solution you don't wait for the government you don't wait no. for for some ngo to come and in I you think, execute and, the and i think that um that's the only way you can make it work in haiti mm -hmm. because um if you are gonna if you are waiting for somebody to come and do do it for you you're gonna be waiting for a long long time yep. And you have to, if you truly want to see changes, you have to make it happen, yeah. you know. And I think that's that's kind of like, you know, my whole thing when I when people ask me, like, you know, um, how do I come to Haiti and do work? I said, like, be ready to really get deep and deep and deep into solving problems. Because once you uncover one thing, there's another thing that's going to come. And if you really want to be sustainable, I think the message we want, I want people to get out of there. It's not impossible, it's possible. Yeah. And once you have the right person and the right mindset, you can make it happen. It can be done. Yeah. I love it. So we had an incredible time here at Simo BPO, right? Uh, we saw the facilities, we spoke with the owner, and, and you got concrete con thoughts and, and rationales to why is it here and how to be successful, right? It's not easy doing business aid. And, and where we are, as we mentioned, at Bicentennial, right? It is not too far from Matissa, not too far from City Soleil, not too far from La Saline. We're smack dab in the middle of, of quote unquote danger row. But they're here and they're impacting and they're employing hundreds of people. We can't take what you hear as an excuse. We have to act. We Haitians out wherever we are, we have to act. And we just, we just have to structure what we do here in a very specific way that makes sense, right? And that is going to protect your investment who you are. And you have to be, as you saw with the kids, you have to physically be here, right? Listen, the channel is all about what we do here. So you can hear me giving the gospel of, of how to do business in Haiti on a lot of other videos. So I won't, I won't extend this video too long here, but I do want to make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. We're all about this sort of activity, this sort of action is what we're about here at CGNT. So become a member. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And guys, until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again.
It's the Nesquamite production. <laughs>